what's up everybody I'm here with my buddy Noam Tanzer and today he's helping me reconstruct my life as you can see uh, this pedal board is quite a mess not to mention the dust layers it is working but it sometimes gets disconnected I just played a show uh, in New York recently where this distortion pedal here something in the wiring was messed up and it just like poof, was an explosion so um, we're gonna refigure this but before we start doing that I want to show you what's in the board and why am I doing this there are two outputs from this guitar so there's a microphone and a bunch of cool stuff if you like gear music and pedals you are in the right place let's dive in so you have two cables exactly so this is stereo output so what I'm doing here is there is the humbucker output which is this sound just a regular guitar sound this is as you can see here this is the white cable going into this Bose EQ pedal underneath the clock so this is this kind of sound now in addition to that I added this other output which is this is a microphone so I get this kind of percussive sound like a, like a contact mic exactly that goes into the more EQ. Exactly. So I have some control over the volume. I have volume here, but honestly, I kind of keep it the same usually. And then I can do like, well, let me try to reach, but. sit down or stand up but this angle is not the best anyway you get it basically I can loop some stuff create a percussive loop but except the percussion uh, it also gives you this brighter sound right so if I'm comparing just this sound this is just the humbucker and this is with the microphone and of course you can change the balance between these two but this gives you this kind of like it's also I think you know I don't know how much through YouTube it'll be possible to hear the difference but I think definitely it's a feeling thing too. Like it feels different to play, and it's that through different amps, with different impedances, with different signal chains. You know. Totally. So right now I see that we're hooked up to the EQ from the humbucker, and from the contact mic, we're hooked up to the Moore. Now both of these terminate in the looper, right? Right. So what I did basically is have two inputs, and those two are going into the loop, and mm -hmm. this gives me an output of one. So I go back to one, right. and these two signals are uh, connected there, and I have the, the volume and, and EQ control. So you could say this is our summing. Basically, we're summing two signals into one here, and then from here on in, we just basically we're treating it as you know any type of exactly you know, mono guitar. Exactly, thing, right? exactly. Um, yeah, worth mentioning. So again, on this guitar is uh, one more, two more outputs or two more sounds. There's. Um, we have the piezo, oh, right. so this is like, you know, you can mix it and blend it, and you can blend the piezo with the pickup and the microphone, so there's quite a few combinations that are possible, mm -hmm. nothing insane, and then, yeah, the MIDI is not connected right now, but that's also another sound option um, to connect. Um, yeah, so basically right now, what we're trying to do is to make sense out of this in a better way, in a cleaner way, and right. a way that is more sustainable, because I travel with this a lot. Um, we also build a smaller pedal board, if you're interested, you can check that this video there, um, which I use actually a lot for traveling as well, but sometimes I do want these sounds and having the two outputs, right. uh, inputs. Yeah. So why do we want to change anything here? First of all, we want more reliable cables. Right? Yeah. So these are from a kit that you can get online that is it's pretty infamous. You know, you screw it in, it breaks a lot. Yeah. Um, so what we're gonna do is we got Mogami cable and these really cool low profile connectors. This is just a tester because we accidentally got TRS connectors instead of TS, but it's okay, they work the same. In the long run, literally, you get less um, signal loss. Mm -hmm. um, so I, for, I'm a bass player, it doesn't matter as much to me, but for guitars, you're losing actual high end that's, that's audible. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, basically we want more reliability, um, so no cutting in and out, we want more robust because this, like, this is basically sitting on an MDF board yeah. um, and it gets banged around a lot. 
Yeah, and the, um, the reason is this this is weight uh, um, efficient for me. I mean, I yeah. just travel with this a lot. I take this board on the plane, on the flight, so I have like a little basically kind of bag that I travel with and the guitar and take that on board. So it needs to fit. And this is the smallest and lightest I could find. Um, again, of course, our version um, with the... Um, the what's it called the, the stomp is is lighter. Yeah, the MX stomp, yeah. the, the MX stomp is definitely lighter and easier uh, to travel with. But this has just a little bit more analog options that I'm used right. to, so it's totally fine. And I kind of want to have the option of, of going between those two. And right now, this is a little messed up. Okay. Um, yeah. So let's let's dive in. Add, added to the fact that we're gonna change every patch cable here, and we're gonna clean it up, make it nice. Do you want to change over any pedals? Yeah, I think I would like to. Instead of the the Maxon, I might want to have the Rat here. So we got the JHS Pack Rat. Right? Yeah, exactly. And then I think of moving uh, the 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 octave, the OC three instead of the Hummingbird, getting rid of that, and then putting the bigger Pog here, so I have the more options. And that would be maybe with a Velcro, so I can move between the smaller board and and this board with that, yeah. if I want to. But yeah, let's let's do it. Cool. All right. Cool. This is our plan B um, after a complete failure of our soldering endeavors. We are redoing this. Um, yeah, here we go. Take two. Yes. Yeah. 
No, no, no. I don't know if you can hear this in the background, but that's my son crying. So, luckily, we did it. Thank you, Nam. It's been a day. It's been